soon as they came out of the boat, what happened? You remember what happened, right? You remember what happened? What happened? Our friend Noah, what did he do? Then his left and his right elbow. He got Tommy Young surgery for drinking too much. And what happened? What happened, you know? The Bible says that one of his sons, you remember who? Nathan, right? Ham. Ham, what did he do? The Bible says that he saw his name. And we'll, we're going to go into what that saw means today. All right? Any questions so far? The good news in many languages. Right? You got that? Look at the earth languages. Now, this is not English. This is Anglo. All the red is Anglo, as we can see here. Anglo, Latin. And we have other, other names, other languages. Uh, we have uh, uh, what we call here um, Semitic languages. Uh, these are families of the languages. Uh, you see the English in South Africa, and you see it in Australia as well as New Zealand. But then you see the other languages across the, the world. Look at Russia. Russia has all of its languages in just in Siberia itself. Uh, and, and as you can see, even Australia in Africa has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, different languages. But uh, these are the languages of the earth. You know how many languages we have in the earth? We have 6,500 spoken languages in the world. And that includes some of the languages that they do like this. Have you heard that before? In Africa, there's a couple of tribes in Africa near Namibia, between Namibia and South Africa, that they speak with these noises. Like that. And they speak a word and they speak like, they say, rise and beans. <laughs> so they mix the, the spoken normal language with that those voices. That is amazing. And they still communicate. In Vietnam and in, in, in Southeast Asia, there's another tribe there because there are tribes in Vietnam and Cambodia and Laos and all of those countries that in the middle of the jungle there, there there's some tribes that speak that way as well with the same noise. They're not related to the Africans and yet they speak the same style of language. That's amazing. Maybe that was the language that they spoke in, in, in Babel, right? We don't know. <laughs> but uh, that was interesting. So 6,500 spoken languages. 2,000 of them have uh, uh, less than 1,000 speakers. However, they remain strong. Even though they have just a few speakers, they remain strong. One of those is in Spain. In northern Spain, there's an area, a region called the Basque Country. Have you heard that before? Basque Country. Basque Country actually is a region, is, is a country within a country because it, it crosses into France and also they are, they speak the same language in France as well, in that area. So in the northern uh, area of Spain and France, they speak Basque Country and the language uh, they have discovered as one of the oldest languages on earth. Amazing. And they don't have too many people. They're small people. And yet, they speak this old, old language. Now, the most popular language in the world is Mandarin Chinese. Can we say amen? Gene, you gotta say amen. <laughs> 1.2 billion people speak the language. Now, notice what they have. You know, we have 27 alphabet letters, right? You know how many they have characters? 50,000. 50, it's probably the toughest language to learn, I've heard. So, here we go, right? Uh, I give you a list of most popular languages. Actually, there are 12. Spanish is the second, 22 countries with 480 million. English is the third, 360. However, it's the most frequently spoken in the world. So, other countries, uh, have learned English so that because the English the English people language they don't want to learn another language 
And that is unfortunate. You have to learn. It will be a blessing. Right, Jim? Jim speaks Texan. Right, Jim? He's yeah, from the Republic of Texas. Now, um, we need to learn, right? So English is the third spoken in the world in terms of numbers. Hindi with 310 three million. Arabic, 295 million. Uh, the only one among the 12 that speak, uh, you know, they write from the right to left, like Hebrew, the Arabic. Then they have the Portuguese. I know Joe is not here, and Julia is not here. Any, any other Portuguese around here? Oh, I'm sorry. Cardoso, definitely, Portuguese. So Portuguese, 215 million. Most of them are in Brazil, though. Most of them are in Brazil, over 150 million in Brazil. And then Bangla, Bengali, 205 million. This is in Bangladesh, they speak this uh, language. And it's considered the second most beautiful language after French. Although I, I'm not sure if French is the most beautiful. I would say, with all due respect, I speak Spanish too, but the most beautiful language is Italian. Italy, there's no more beautiful language than that. French is, has a heavy accent. I don't like the heavy accent, but the, uh, the Italian language to me is the most beautiful. But they say that Bengali is the most beautiful, sec the second language most beautiful in the world. So we should ask um, uh, Churchill to speak to us in his language, right? That's his language. 